Hello everybody, welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. It's early morning on Allen Island in Washington on the uh, west side of the United States and we're on this little small island. It's located in the Burroughs Bay, uh, just a little bit north of Oak Harbor. And we're in our Bush Cessna 172 and we're going to be flying over to Boeing Field. So that'll bring us some nice sights of downtown Seattle along the way and it'll be a nice short trip over there. So this is skyvector.com and the island is located up here. It's like this really small island, almost hard to find it. It's not really marked either unless you go on Google Maps. Uh, but that's that's where we're going from and then we'll be going down south here, just kind of staying near the water and then uh, right into Boeing Field. It should put us right into the pattern and uh, we can land over there. Uh, but yeah, some nice scenes. Got the Orbex scenery loaded in, the True Earth. So you'll get to see a little bit of that. So I'll make sure to include some shots there. But uh, so we're in the cockpit. Uh, let's get going here. Our uh, fire is starting to go out. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and shut the door here. And uh, get the plane fired up for the morning here. So I'm going to move the yoke so I can see the lights. So uh, we'll get the beacon light on and let them know we got some power. The fuel pump and the mixture in. I'm looking for a rise there. I'm going to pull the mixture. Let's turn the fuel pump off and let's give it a little bit of, of throttle. Throttle up to about a thousand RPMs, leave it there. Get our avionics on now. Then we'll taxi over, take off, we'll do our mag check over there. We don't want to blow dust in our friends' uh, faces and all over their tents. All right, we're all trimmed up. We're ready to start moving. Now this is a nice scenery done by Prop Strike Studios. The first one I've purchased, this one is uh, just only only $5. I started out with their free one, uh, which is a, is a pretty cool, uh, it's like an old fisheries landing strip where they used to do uh, research on fish and stuff in that area. Um, all of them seem to be uh, located kind of around uh, this region, this uh, near Canada, you know, Washington. Really nice quality stuff. The, the grass and everything looks really nice here. It was really fun to, to visit this island here. So yeah, this one's only $5. They also did the Cessna 172 I'm flying. This is uh, the Bush edition of the Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Comes in green, uh, an orange color. You can have it with like dirt and scratches. Uh, and they also have like a tail dragger version of each one and it's really nice it's kind of i always like the the black interior on the 172s so it's kind of nice to have that you know through this modification but yeah that's also free all on the website prop strike studio uh pretty cool developer there so make sure you check them out always love flying around in the wilderness it's fun to do fun to you know take it away from the the concrete apron and get on over to some of the wilderness turn here x-plane's getting you know a lot smoother lately too we got the vulcan update going on which actually I don't know if I've tried it. I don't know if I've actually left it, uh, had it enabled. Not on this flight, of course, but I mean, uh, since this flight, I don't think I've, I've tried it, but it's supposed, to be, it's supposed to be smoother. Every update gets a little smoother. All right, so let's pull the parking brake. We'll go uh, rich with the mixture. We leaned it a little bit while we taxied. And let's throttle up to 1800 and check the mags. We got our left, right, and both. All right, looking good. Go ahead and pull the throttle back to a, to one thousand. We're squawking uh, twelve hundred. We're going VFR. It's just a little cloudy getting out of here, and then we're going to be 
will be completely clear, but we're not going to have to worry about it. All right, so let's start rolling out. At 60, let's rotate. And get trimmed down. We're going to trim down for 80 while we climb out of here. Definitely don't want to stall into the Burroughs Bay here. Yeah, we're on our way down to Boeing Field, one of my favorite airports to fly around. Love doing pattern work at Boeing Field. Uh, just the scenery is nice, and this is a nice um, airport to go into with the two runways. I always take the smaller one when I'm doing something with a Cessna 172 or a 208B. I like to take both of those around there. Sometimes you'll see me up on Project Fly just flying the pattern there. And that's usually, yeah, that's what I like to do. So hope everybody is uh, doing good during this quarantine, getting it done. Um, hopefully it'll be behind us pretty soon, but uh, I don't know. It's going to change some things about life, I'm sure. But, you know, it's been more time to flight sim lately. And, yeah, it's been um, quite the quarantine. A lot of things have been on sale or... DCS has been putting out a lot of um, uh, free stuff for you to try, so that's that's pretty cool that the developers kind of, you know, realize people are going to be at home and, and let them try out their products. So right now we're at 3,000 feet. We're going about 100 knots and uh, kind of weaving around the clouds here as we, we want to stay near the water. Not flying over it, but just, you know, kind of on the coast. And that'll lead us down VFR. You know, going field. We'll see it. You know, uh, you can't miss uh, downtown Seattle. So once you see that, you know, Bowling Field's coming up next. Seattle, uh, uh, SeaTac is is, uh, is just a little more south of Bowling Field. All right, so we're just cruising along here at, um, at still at 3,000 feet. Just wanted to stay low enough so we can see on this VFR flight. And if you look at about our 10 o'clock right now, you can see downtown Seattle. And we're going to get some nice shots flying by there. Make sure to uh, include a little short montage as we fly by downtown Seattle. Also, um, I did a review of this scenery. Uh, it's been a long time on it, about a month just collecting the footage and editing it to make it look really nice. It's on the FS Elite YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, some of my best work. So if some of my other stuff is over there a lot. You know, I do it. I did a uh, Northern California review most recently and had a lot of fun making those. So check those out if you, if you like my stuff. It's pretty good. Some of my best uh, work ends up over on that channel. Continue. 
All right, hope you guys enjoyed that short little montage of downtown Seattle. Back to business, though. We've got um, Boeing Field coming up just ahead. We're entering the pattern. Right now, it's about our 1 o'clock. You look just over the glare shield where our radios are. You can see it. Fishing poles and all, we're heading back. It's Boeing Field. Uh, make sure you leave in the comments um, any suggestions you have on future flights to do. The next uh, flight has definitely got to be a heavy because it's been um, two props back to back. I'm going to be getting back into prepared and doing some stuff with that too. The hotfix was just released, the very first one. I hear it's a whole new download, you know, a 25 gigabyte download with an installer. So. That'll be fun. I didn't really install much. Uh, I think it affects some of what you've installed already. I'm not sure though. But I didn't put, you know, too much. Just Orbex and haven't installed any planes yet. So I think I'll be okay if I have to reinstall a couple of Orbex modules. Uh, although I don't think I will with, with that stuff. But yeah, we're just turning base now.
right, down. Please excuse my drift there. Using the Thrustmaster stick, uh, just because I'm not at home. When I did this flight, I was actually in a hotel. But I had to use the stick rudder, and I'm not I'm too uh, used to doing that with these planes. And with stick rudder, that also means stick brakes. So I'm having to use the, the trigger. So yeah, this whole flight was done with a stick, not a yoke. Which is fine and all. That's just not what I, I typically do. I was having some work done on my house, so I was at a hotel for several weeks, actually. Brought my flight sim rig over there. Uh, you know, just not everything, but just the, the stick and the computer. Really all you need to get by, but yeah, makes it a little more challenging if you're not used to it. Yeah, we're here at Boeing Field. Welcome, everybody. I'm going to kick it over to some replays and see how it looked. And yeah, back into the cockpit, we're just going to park up here. See the, the trains going by with the scenery, the Union Pacific and all that fun stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little flight this week. It, uh, I thought it was fun to do a nice little uh, location to head out of to get back into the, the main metropolis here of Seattle. It was stored here next to the the other Cessnas for now. Get it shut down. Get on home. And call it a day. Call it a flight sim day. Sorry to everybody, leave me a, a like, a comment. I try to respond to all the comments if they're respondable. And um yeah, we'll be doing some flying here on the channel. Won't be won't be stopping that. Uh, just looking for suggestions or whatever you want to see, and uh, maybe I'll do it if I like your idea. All right, we got everything shut down. We're gonna get out of the Cessna and take it on home. Thanks for watching, everybody. You guys take care. I'll see you next time.